All right, the next tool we're going to highlight is the circular pattern tool. And it will also give us some practice with revolving. So let's go ahead and draw a little L shape again. Again, I'm not worried about the size at first, although it looks like I'm drawing this a little bit small. What I am worried about, I want to make sure that I'm getting all my lines parallel and perpendicular to existing geometry. Um, and again, I'm going to need to sketch in a construction line. So let me maximize this. Let me turn that last line I drew into a construction line again. Okay, and now I can start putting some dimensions on there. Of course, that wasn't anywhere close to being to scale, was it? But it's an inch wide distance from there to the, the axis of revolution is two and a half inch. Distance from that line down to axis of revolution is one inch. And that's a half inch. Let's see, what am I missing? Oh, distance here to here, 0.375. There we go. Now I've got my L. Um, if we look at that, my L shape again, it says I have two dimensions needed. Um, that's just because my L is not my L is fully constrained that I'm going to revolve, but the um, construction line is not fully constrained. So we'll go ahead and finish the sketch. Select revolve. Again, it's looking for the axis to revolve around. Okay. And in order to um, do the circular pattern, and drill a hole. We're going to do a sketch on the top or on that front face there. Let's put the point tool on there and we'll see that hole is 1.65 inches. Is it 1.65 from the center? Point six five from the center, and then we could do a vertical constraint to make sure that that point is lined up right with the center point. So that sketch is now fully constrained. Um, let's drill a hole. Hole diameter is a half inch, and then there's a circular pattern tool. Now what this is using, and you could also do this in a sketch, but again it's usually better to do this as a feature because when you do it as a feature you can modify one feature and it modifies everything. It's a little harder to modify patterns in a sketch. So I'm going to first select my feature, then my rotation axis. I can pick any one of these circular items that I want to rotate around except the, the hole that I drilled. So I'll click a circular edge and you'll notice we want a total of 10 holes. It's okay. And there's our circular pattern.